Hey, what's up? I am Lotus Evolutionary. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be bringing a reading for all of my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now, just because you're not an earth sign, if you come across this video, please stay tuned because there's probably messages in here somewhere for you. Now, this is a timeless reading, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I just want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. Remember, Valentine's Day isn't just about all of those cute couples out there. It is about love in general. And that's what I like to think of in the whole month of February. It's just about love. And the most important love that we can have is for ourselves. So I hope you guys gave yourself a lots of extra TLC on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody who supports my channel. I see you guys out there and I send all of my love. All right. So these are for all of my earth signs. What are some extra messages or things to become aware of in this moment now? All right, let's get started for my earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. What messages do I have? Anything? <laughs> there we go. All right. So air signs. Am I focused on what am I am losing or gaining? Are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. Today's soul action. Today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Feel your heart, take a breath, and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. This is absolutely beautiful, Earth Signs. So, this is obvious that you guys are going through some type of change. There might have been a tower moment that just occurred in your life. And if that's so, or it says, are you scared to let go? So either there's a tower moment that just happened in your life, or there's a tower moment that will be happening in your life that you are becoming aware of now. And this tower moment is simply just change. What around you do you need to change that needs to be brought to your attention? What is your soul been trying to get your attention with? that you just have been being blinded to it. Or maybe you're not being blinded to it, but you're just avoiding it. Endings are actually new beginnings. Each time there's change in the material world and on the material realm, that's because there's change that happened inside of us. It's nothing that's bad. It's always something good. When we shift our vibration, we send out a new frequency to the universe. Well, the re universe responds to that frequency by giving us what it is that we desire, what it is that we need, what it is that we are sending out to the universe, right? Well, what is it that you're actually focused on right now? I think right now you are focused on more of what you lost than more of what is in front of you. In order for us to obtain anything new in our life, you have to learn to let go of the old energy. It's almost like being whatever was in the past is going to be replaced with positive new energy, but you can't replace it until you learn to let go first. And letting go is a very, very hard because you guys are earth signs. Earth signs are very grounded, very rooted typically into what it is. And so most of them are very stubborn, hard-headed. <laughs> I'm a Leo. I'm a fire sign. I'm also, you know, we are also not like, we're fixed signs. We don't like change, right? 
Um, but with that, but with that being said, if you learn to change your perspective, Earth signs, you guys are rooted into your decisions, right? So when you change your perspectives, change could simply just mean that you're rooted in, grounded during this entire transformation, this entire change that is occurring in your life. It depends on how you look at it right now. But you guys are definitely going through some type of change or are about to go through some change. And it's about your perspective on it. It's about while this change is happening, you might have some heartbreak. You might have some anxiety. You might have some fears that you need to face. But taking just one step forward towards your dreams or towards something that is going to be for your better good, that's for your future, just one small step is all it takes. And that step is going to help you relieve and trust in the universe. And it's going to help you recenter yourself. And it all happens when you begin to refocus on the things that are in front of you instead of what's behind you. Because of what's behind you, that past, it can't be changed. You can stare at it all you want, but if you continue to stare at it, then at least learn from it. Because the past is affecting your future in the moment right now. You can't be everything that you want to be right now because you are holding on so tightly to the past. It's time to let the past go. Because if that person or situation in the past was actually for your highest good, then you wouldn't have needed to let go right now, right? The environment, the situation, the person, you had to let go of them so that they can transform as well. Because you're transforming into becoming something new, something better. You're evolving. That's absolutely beautiful. But you can't evolve if you're resisting this. And maybe that person or situation that you're holding on to, you want it to be in your future. But maybe it will be in your future. It's just going to be different than what it is now. The foundation that it is right now could be toxic. That's why you have to let go of it. So that it can transform its energy into something else. Because energy never truly dies. It just transforms or transmutes into higher levels and higher wisdom, You know, right? But it's all about how we are going to look at the situation every ending is just a new beginning like i said it's all about your perspective so it's time to check yourself earth signs where is your perspective it's time to open up that third eye and that crown chakra and look at different viewpoints in all viewpoints because there's more than just one viewpoint All right, what else are signs? Let's see what else I got for you. Remember, you're never going to truly lose what is meant for you. God will never hold anything from you that is not meant for you. And if it's timing, then that means that you just need to learn patience and trust and have more faith that the universe is on your side and the universe is unfolding for you, right? Service. I feel good when I can help others. It's time to focus on yourself. It's time to pull back all that energy because you are changing. And the best way to easily help yourself move through change is by pulling back all your energy and putting it into yourself and as you serve or as you put that energy into yourself and start working on yourself it's actually serving others as well and with this being kind of like gold and yellow I see you definitely empowering yourself as you step back and allow this change and going with the flow, trusting your intuition and allowing the flow of change to occur, I actually see you stepping into your power and you opening up with all of this green, you're opening up your heart chakra, which is absolutely beautiful. Because that's, a, that's one of the ultimate goals. It's one of the goals of life, right? Is for us to walk with an open heart. Opening your heart is one of the most hardest and painful things that you can truly do especially keeping it open because you have to become the most vulnerable that you've ever been before. I mean, your raw, pure 
standing in front of other people, right? So opening up your heart and standing in your power, sometimes to get to that point is very difficult. But I see you guys at that point to where you have to let go of the past so that you can step into your power and open up your heart so you can manifest and attract and bring in the things that you are deserving of. You're trying to manifest your dreams, but now that you have, now that it's here, you just have to learn to let go so that you can receive it and you're scared to. All right, our signs. What else do I got for you? Let's see. This one's going to come up. Moving on. Exactly. As you are letting go, you are moving towards the light. You're stepping into your power. Let's see. This kind of wanted to come out. Wow. That's awesome. As you move on from things that aren't serving your highest good, as you're stepping into your truth, as you are stepping into your light, it lights up your heart chakra right here. You become self-aware. You open up that heart. And now you have a fire burning within your soul. As you let go... Your whole life is going to change. And it's because you are changing from the inside out. Yeah, look at that power on the bottom of the deck. You are learning how to step into your power. You are empowering yourself right now. You are becoming who you are meant to be. But right now, I just believe you're a little bit scared. You have some, some fears that you need to bring to your attention and bring to your awareness and kind of sit down with yourself and face those fears. Best way to face our fears is by taking one single step forward. You'd be surprised. It might be a little step, but every step counts. All right, our signs. What else do I got for you? Wow, you got the Six of Swords twice. That's awesome. And you have the Hangman at the bottom of the deck, which I think is absolutely perfect. Bleh, excuse me. Which I think is absolutely perfect. Because you see with all of this blue and all this red, and you see how he's already enlightened? So you already know that change is here. And with the Divine bringing in this pinnacle, dropping down this pinnacle to you, because that's what I think of the crow. I think of messages coming in from the divine. The divine is bringing you this new beginning. You know it's here. You can see it. You're enlightened by it. You see that it's here. So at this point, you're the only one keeping yourself stuck because you're grounded and rooted into your truth. But you're... Not moving yet, but that's okay because the hangman also represents change. So there's very much change here, but you are resisting it. But I see you moving as you're moving on because you have the six of swords twice as you are moving on and stepping into the light, calming your center, you know, your soul, bringing yourself inner peace, relaxing and calming yourself, moving from those thoughts that aren't serving you anymore speaking your truth, cutting through all the bullshit, building yourself a brand new foundation in yourself, healing your heart as you step into serving, as you step into your power, you're also helped by serving others because you're doing others a favor as well because you're being true and authentic to yourself. So you're sending out a new vibration to the world, which is beautiful. So, just be patient with yourself because you're going through a major transformation right now. I see you resisting, but I see you towards the end of this month, the beginning of March, probably the end of the first weekend of March. I definitely see all of my earth signs definitely moving into calmer waters. You're no longer fighting yourself. You're facing your fears. 
you're moving on, you're stepping into your truth, you're stepping into your light, you're empowering yourself. And as you are stepping into your light, you're opening up your heart, you're being vulnerable, you're going after what it is that makes you happy. You're empowering yourself. This is very powerful. But remember, this is all on the other side of the change you keep resisting. Learn to go with the flow and realize that this change is happening for you, not against you. Change your perspective on life and it will change your life. <laughs> all right, so this is what I have for all of my earth signs. I hope this was helpful. Until next month, I'm sending all of my love to all of you. Namaste.